Working at the engine cover, red arrow, pull off the two front side air duct hoses, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off the engine cover, air filter housing, then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove the duct from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover, air filter housing, straight up to remove it. The cover is held in by four metal clips that grab onto rubber mounts with the front two shown at the red arrows. The rear of the cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover, air filter housing from the engine. Remove the mass airflow sensor. Please see our tech article and video on mass airflow sensor removing by following the link at the end of this video. Working at the right side valve cover, pull the breather hose straight off the breather cover to remove it. Working at the rear of the intake manifold, pull the breather hose junction out of the intake manifold. Pull it straight up to remove it. Once up, pull the hard line, red arrow, out of the breather hose and lay it aside. To access the fuel injectors, you will have to remove the vacuum line, green arrow, from the wiring harness housing, red arrow, then disconnect the necessary electrical connectors and lift the wiring harness housing up slightly. Pull the vacuum line, red arrow, up to remove it from the housing. Working at the left rear of the intake manifold, remove the 8mm bracket nut, red arrow, then slide the bracket away from the harness housing. Insert picture. Just behind the bracket, cut the zip tie, red arrow, securing the harness to the engine. Working at the right side valve cover, disconnect the ignition coil electrical connectors by pressing the release tabs and pulling them straight out, red arrows. Then cut the zip ties, green arrows, securing the wiring harness to the coil. Working at the right side of the valve cover, disconnect the fuel injector electrical connectors by squeezing the release tabs and pulling them straight off, red arrows. Then disconnect the electrical connector at the EGR system, green arrow. Once all of the connectors have been disconnected, press the plastic tab, yellow arrow, towards the right side fender and lift the wiring harness housing off of the fuel rail. Back at the right side of the engine, remove the fuel pressure test port cap, as indicated by the red arrow. Then place a cover over the port with a rag and press the Schrader valve down to relieve fuel pressure. Reinstall the cap once the pressure is relieved. At this point, you're going to be working with fuel, so a few basic safety precautions. The engine should be cold and have sat for at least several hours. As always, you should be wearing safety glasses, but now's a good time to have gloves on to protect your skin as well. Work in a well-ventilated area without any source of high heat or open flame around, but most importantly, have the proper type and rated fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. Working at the left side of the engine, use a 17 mm line wrench and remove the fuel line at the fuel rail. Once removed, cover the line and fitting on the fuel rail with a rag to collect excess fuel. Next, remove the four E10 inverted torque fuel rail fasteners, as indicated by the red arrows. Then pull the fuel rail straight up and out of the intake manifold. Be careful not to damage a fuel injector when removing. If the O-rings are stuck, you can lightly lever, red arrow, the fuel rail up using a pry bar. I like to lever between the edge of the valve cover and the fuel rail. Spray lubricant around the O-rings and allow it to soak in. This will make removing much easier. If there is dirt in this area, remove it before spraying the lubricant. It's very important that you lever directly up and not at an angle. If you lever at an angle, the O-rings on the fuel injectors may stick inside the intake manifold. Once the fuel rail is removed, immediately cover the open ports with a rag or cloth so that nothing can fall into the engine. Then inspect the fuel injectors. Check that all the O-rings, yellow arrows, came out with the injectors. If they did not, 
you will have to remove them from the intake manifold using a hook tool, as indicated by the red arrow. If any of the O-rings fall into the intake manifold, you will have to remove the intake manifold to retrieve them. Once retrieved, install the O-rings in plastic retaining disc. Use a 9mm socket and press the O-ring on with the plastic disc last. To remove individual fuel injectors, remove the retaining clip, green arrow, by sliding it off the fuel rail using a flathead screwdriver. Then pull the fuel injector straight out of the fuel rail in the direction of the red arrow. When reinstalling fuel injectors, replace the sealing O-rings. Place a little bit of white lithium grease on each one. Install the injector back into the fuel rail and reset the retaining clip. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.